Yo, what is going on guys? I'm going to be showing you a 62% win rate carry Teemo build. For this build, we are going to be rushing Rift Maker. If you're not running TP on Teemo, you're going to be running out of health often whenever you're trading or taking minion damage. And getting that uh, Leeching Lair will help keep you in the game. So since we're taking Ignite, we're going to be rushing Rift into Nash. And after that, it's pretty situational. For our runes, we took Press the Attack, Triumph, the Lacrity Coup de Grasse. Chief Shot and Ravenous. We're gonna just get down two autos and chill and then poker. The whole point of that is so the minions we're trying to last hit are ready before hers are. That way when she goes for ours, we can poker and we're not missing minions to poke. If you're missing minions to poke, it's not actually really worth it. She's just gonna try to all in me here, huh? She doesn't have ignite though. Got you, buddy. Yeah, she tried to hard cheese me because that champion's ridiculously overpowered. So once I stepped up, she decided she didn't want to take three autos for free. She ran away, so she just all in. That was really dirty. All right, I'm going to go ahead and buy boots. I'll sell this potion and grab a refill. Not an awful back. She's going to try to hard shove this wave, I think. But uh, I think I technically had two more minions, so she should have tried to freeze it. Well, maybe she is freezing it, actually. I thought she was hard shoving, but... Now it seems she's realized I do have more minions. At least I have an item advantage. If you're up against a melee champion, getting an early pair of boots is really nice. Early pair of boots gives you a lot of value. Lots of champions, whether it's Garen, Chen, or Gwen, they can only need to the death if you don't kite them out very well. That's pretty much what she tried to do there. If I didn't flash, I was going to lose that. Closer you are to the minions, the easier they are to last hit. Say that as I miss one. Mainly focusing on what your ranged minions are attacking, because they're the ones doing the real damage. I could get ganked here. Missed that one. Got it. Now that her one ability is on cooldown, we can trade a little bit more freely with her. I'm missing quite a bit of CS got me spooked it's exactly what i was worried about <laughs> the timing of it i could feel she was in the area i'm gonna miss some cs now because uh they're junglers in the area we're gonna go invisible get this huge attack speed bonus as i miss more and more minions we blind her she just put herself in such a bad spot And she's dead. She fought me on minions. Even though she has conquer and I press the attack, we're gonna win that fight. We blind daughter, blind daughter, blind dotted her, and uh, it just stayed mobile. Make sure you do activate your W when you are in these fights, so you can kite and dodge easier. Don't forget to activate that. Use your Q as an auto attack reset, or especially if you can block one of their abilities, or use it at an opportune time when they're all inning you. Since my wave's underneath her turret, I could actually back right now. I'm just trying to make sure my next wave ends up underneath it as well. Like this. Just used our refill. Go ahead and reset. Even if every single one of her minions dies, my wave's underneath her turret to where she can't really freeze it. Once again, we're up against the melee champion, so getting early Sork Shoes wouldn't be bad. Getting Berserker Grease wouldn't be bad. But since we don't have TP, I kind of want to get Leeching Lear. We can't quite afford it. So in this case, I'll just grab Sorks and a Dark Sill. If it'll let me buy a Dark Sill, that'd be awesome. Nice. We'll W to get back to lane. We are down a little bit of CS because of her jungle pressure. That's all right, as long as we don't die. We're tied in XP now. It's our W again. Looks like we're going to miss at least three minions of XP. Okay, we missed two minions of XP. Auto attack Q reset to get that minion. And we'll try to freeze it here. We don't want to overshove it. I don't know if she's roaming or if she backed. She just got back the lane to where I doubt she actually backed. She's probably just hoping I shove since she doesn't want to fight me anymore. The worst matchup on team was going to be mage top laners like Amalzahar and Annie. Range top laners like Vayne or Quinn you can play against. So you can blind off their autos. Jax, Trindamir, all those are skill matchups. Even though they are auto based, they have damage to 
put you in difficult positions, especially depending on how patient they are or how good their jungler is. I'm gonna hold on to this mushroom. I only have one mushroom and you always want to keep one on you just in case you get ganked or you need to throw on the enemy minions to get the AOE. Checking for wards. I'll get it down there. She's not level six yet, but she's probably about to hit it. I'm gonna blind her. Juke that out. She's dead. She's a goner. She can't fight me anymore like she used to be able to. I'm so fast with my sword shoes that whenever she stops to auto me, I can I can build up basically three auto attacks of spacing for myself. She's gonna lose so many minions off that. Now I'm gonna get a CS lead. That is what we like. If you're going for more of an 80 on hit build, Berserker Greaves are really, really good. I'm going AP though. That way my mushrooms can actually do stuff. We're gonna throw in a straight auto, but now our poison's gonna make the turret aggro, so we have to be really careful with how far we go underneath. Got off that press the attack in the Q. She's trying to bait me. She's gonna use her circle move, her or octagon move or whatever to where you can't damage her unless you're inside of it. She's probably begging for ganks right now. I'm gonna use our refills up. I'm trying to dump the wave. Just gotta be a little bit more patient, I guess. She's definitely just waiting for her jungler to gank at this point. If she goes in on us, I gotta immediately run. Get straight auto on her. I'm gonna lay a mushroom out of sight. They don't know it's there. I can back up into that if I need to. We have our picture in my upper left corner so we can tell when our poison ends on her. Got off an auto. I'm gonna try to lead the wave away from the mushroom. We can even go in the bush and lay one. That way she doesn't know it's there and I can retreat into that whenever I need to. She's pretty low. She has lots of mana. Once again, she's most likely just waiting for her jungler to gank. Just pay attention to what the rain minions are <laughs> focusing and that's how you last hit. Maybe the minions don't do a whole lot. We can kill her here in a second. Lily have really forced gank. She obviously just came because her top laner is begging for a gank. So she feels pressured, but you see how her top laner is that low? If Lily, even if she came from behind, how's Gwen gonna follow if she's, she's too low? Gwen needs to back and let me get two turret plates for free. Cause like, I'm gonna kill them all here. Like they're both dead now. I'm gonna flash away. She had a red smite burn on me. It's just like, even if Sol didn't show up, Worst case scenario, I kill one of them and then I die. It's just not worth. When you have a lane that's like drowning, oftentimes as a jungler, you have to just let them drown. It's jungling 101, mute your teammates, especially if they're typing and pinging or losing. Should have backed on this wave. I overstayed a little bit. Try to lead them into this mushroom. There we go, finish it with the blind. I'm gonna, the only reason why I'm laying these before I leave is because they cost a lot of mana. And so by the time I get back in the lane, I should have my mushrooms back anyways. That's why I'm just sprinkling them down. Probably stay in killer with that being said. We've got our leeching leer now, we've got blasting wall. I'll double back to lane. Should heal back my health by then. I have refills as well. Soul got uh, Herald. It is Soul Jungle. I've played Soul Jungle before, it's okay. It's not great. It's, it's somewhere lower than C tier. And I've played against one before that was really, really good. It's, it's super niche, you don't see it very often. It's, it's not easy to pull off. So she pretty much ran into all my mushrooms. Lily is going bot side. I'll shove and try to get first turret. Getting these plates is gonna be juicy. 
standing as close as we can to get them last hits. I'm gonna get a deeper mushroom right here, just in case someone decides to roam on me. And I'll break this. Hope I don't miss that plate. If you're not close enough, you won't get it. Yeah, that ability is so annoying. I just literally can't hit her. It's one of the best abilities in the game versus anything that has ranged attacks. Obviously versus a truly melee champion like Trinimer, that ability is downright useless. Oh cool, I'm getting ganked. She cleared my mushroom. Use my Dilby to outrun it. She's dead. I got her with my Ignite. Got my Mushroom down, refill. She's in trouble. Blind Dart, she's dead. That's why you don't get Teemo when he's ahead right there. His Mushrooms make it too hard to gank because if you walk into it, he can see you. And if you stop to br if you stop with your Sweeper to break it, it's like your key has enough time to escape. I'm not gonna run from them though. I have more items, more levels. Just no need. All right, we'll get down a deep ward and a mushroom. I want this plate actually. It's a lot of gold. Lily is over there. Let's go in mid lane because I'm safe. I have a ward and a mushroom over there so i already know where their top laner is going to be it looks like she actually tp'd bot i'll blind art the cannon minion so it can't hit me you can also uh still the enemy jungler's camps teemo's gotten a lot of buffs on his passive whether you have the jungle item or not to where his his poison is it's like acid to monsters it's like battery acid it just kills them i want to get this attack speed he wasted his Q. He's gonna walk in my mushroom. Auto attack Q, auto, he's dead. Goodbye, Zed. And that's why it's good to have your mushroom spread out like a like a trip wire. You don't put all the trip wires in the same spot. You gotta spread them out. They won't expect it. I I'd say the best way to place mushrooms nine out of ten times is to have them like two Lux Qs apart. If you do that. Even if they use a sweeper, at most, they're only going to be able to break two mushrooms at most. So I highly recommend that. So here I'll lay another one, about two luck snares apart. This chick's playing super far up. Auto attack Q, auto attack, she's a dead. Q has more range than your autos. It's also a good auto attack resetter. Lay a mushroom over here as well. All right, I'm gonna go push top now. I should have kept a mushroom on me. Always keep a mushroom on you. We are five, four levels up on her. She's gonna run into a mushroom. Yep, I'm gonna W to catch her. And she's gonna let me have it. What a nice guy. What a nice guy. I think he realized he was a goner. We both have tier twos, but he hit a mushroom, plus I have my W passive movement speed. Makes Timo one of the faster champions in the game. Get another mushroom down right there. Kill. We could kill her really quick here. We just need three autos and an ignite. She's dead. We got off. Uh, we flash auto Q ignited. She evaporated. We might have even auto twice there. You have to go back and rewatch that and let me know in the comments. And cannon's dead. So we got a nice little forward mushroom here. We could stay on the turret, or we could go for a nice another forward mushroom and a nice forward ward. We can also lay a nice forward mushroom over here, making this area as hard to approach as possible. Since my teammates are dead, I could get three man collapsed on right now. And I can lay a mushroom for my escape route right over there. And wait for Lily to come over here and also take her Gromp. 
She flashed. She didn't want to throw hands. Gotta love that bonus attack speed from... Ooh, he's trying to take that. He actually just tried to... I think he tried to take that from me. What a turd. I'm gonna kill off the back line with the one auto. They should die off. Looks like the poison just didn't quite have enough. There we go. Keep taking our camps. If I can keep taking all three camps wherever I'm split pushing... I'll just keep getting farther ahead and their jungler will get farther behind. Finding a Yumi Lucian who's very fat. Yeah, no thanks. I just realized I'm sitting on 6,000 gold. You shouldn't stick around this long. 10 out of 10 would not recommend. Even Zed has more items than me. Spend it. Rift Maker. We'll grab Morello. And we're so far ahead. But we really should go for Nasher. If I didn't have more. If I didn't have... I'm sorry, I didn't go for Morel. I went for Majais. If I didn't have Majais, I wouldn't be getting Robidon right now. You can just leave it on Dark Silt, and then you would go for Nashers. But since I have 10 Dark Silt stacks or 10 Mesh, I kind of want the Robidon. I have 400 AP with this. Oh, he's a, the jungler. I, yeah, I forgot. Yeah, Soul's the jungler. I couldn't figure out why he was trying to take that Gromp from me. I guess the only thing I would say is instead of farming camps where I'm split pushing, he should just be somewhere else. Yeah, that changes things. I keep, I forgot. I was like, why is my mid laner trying to still grow up from me? It was weird. Yeah, I should be able to one tap these ranged creeps now. I'll even lay one right here if they approach from the front. It'll cut them off if they run, run it tight. That is turrets. We are missing so many of these. We gotta slow down our autos and take a breath in between. Oh, I almost missed that one too. Do it, Zed. Don't be a coward. Should be able to heal up with my Rift Maker. And I'll go take their Gromp. I don't really want to have to group. I might have to. Sometimes grouping isn't optional. If your team is incapable of um, like fighting 4v4. Or letting you build pressure on a split. Sometimes you just don't have a choice. I guess this is free herald they really don't want to play topside they're scared of the mushrooms i we can't die once you buy a mesh consider dying game over like just turn off your computer play yeah gotta play really smart once you buy a mesh taking this super quick gotta love that poison damage enhanced poison damage versus monsters it, it's basically like teemo jungle is okay but like the buffs to your damage against monsters is also super good for Teemo Top, and Teemo Top was like already in meta, obviously. As you can tell, you know, eh, these mushrooms are about to fade. Some of them at least. I'll go kill this Gwen. I blinded him so he panicked. I got a mushroom down. The mushroom might actually kill him there. Yep. I threw the mushroom on the minions and when your mushroom goes off, it's like Morgana black soil in terms of like how wide it is. So when it blows up, it's like a big circle. So you can throw it on the minions Kind of like a Ziggs bomb and let it activate after like a second and a half. Get a mushroom right there. This that's being so cocky. Gotta put a blind art in him. Let's see if we can make them lose some more camps. Ooh, the blue buff's up. I need to go get that like right now. Blue buff's so good on Timo. 
And they know I'm coming for it. They see me. That sees me. They all see me. Gotta pull this out. They're all grouping up in the area. Hey, bud. Auto. I got my Q on her. She's dead. I gotta keep moving, though. The enemies are grouping up where I am. Yeah, he just straight up autoed me to death even though I had him blinded. Yumi's so cracked, man. Wow, I can't believe they got me there. I lost 10 of my mesh. I got my Nashers at least now. Dang, that sucks. I can't believe they got me. I mean, Yumi even did 500 damage. It's not bad. She hit an auto Q and Ignite. I might have to get Robadon, although I really, I mean, uh, I'm, I'm saying all the wrong words. I have a fever right now. Holy crap. I might need to get a, a Zanius Hourglass. Zanius is what we need, I think. These fights are getting, like, starting to go really, really bad for us. We're the only one on the team who's actually kind of ahead. Or I should say, the only one who's not like super far behind. That was an accident. I was trying to lay my ward. Kind of forgot I had Harold on me. Bad. There's not much I can do in this situation. There's just too many people here. I'm low on mana. At least we'll get our health back. Looks like they're backing off. They're a little scared of the mushrooms. Where is Sol? Is he in base? I don't even see where he is on the map. There he is. That was weird. I'm gonna go back top on the split push. I, I don't think I can help my team. As uh, sad as that sounds, I think splitting is our best move here. Yumi is just too strong for anyone to do anything. We'll give Dragon and hopefully we'll get Turd out of it. Oh, cool. I like when Turt does that. Hopefully Yumi didn't back with the Lucian. I'll wait for him. Yumi's on Zed. Yumi's being really greedy. There... None of them are really coming back for me. He's blue his whole R. Almost killed him. We got in him at least. We'll force them in the back. The enemies are playing for kills. That's why they don't really have any turrets. All right, I got to get out of here. We got a turret. This is definitely winnable. Is that actually going to chase me down? Holy crap, I hope not. I threw double mushrooms on where their minis were spawning, so that didn't turn out very well. I need to spread them out a little bit more. Zed is super, super fed now. He has an outrageous amount of gold. Gotten shutdowns on me and whatnot. I gotta go split somewhere else. I gotta go bot now. Got Zanyas. Got a lot of movement speed. We have the top top lane minions giving us some prio. Hopefully Jin goes in groups with the team. Thing is if I go top, they can send like two people there and then we have no pressure on the map because they can stop me with two people. So hopefully Jin groups. 
They're gonna obviously go for Baron when they see me down here. Like, Jin can't split. You can't solo anyone on their team if they come for him. So they're not on Baron, which makes me think they're trying to find us. I hate Gwen. She's running. Let's see if we can keep absorbing enough resources to carry. It's going to get harder the longer this game goes on because I'll... I'm like full build. The only thing I'm really getting at this point is XP from all this. Got him. Got the blind on him. Oh, Yumi, you're a goner. Nice. Holy crap. That actually panned out. We had the damage. Damage to do it. I'm gonna go take this wave and I'm gonna literally end the game. We have the minions. Their spawns are not for a while. I should build a solo Lucian. He's dead. Yep, that's GG's. Well played. And that, guys, is how you carry on Teemo top lane. Carry yourself out of low elo. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. My name is Kingsticks. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.